Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Travos, and this is going to be another Mechanics Mini Tips unique tutorial guide for movement strategies and such, but this isn't just your average video. No, 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 no. We're going to be talking about the G-slide, the infamous G-slide. Now, why I chose this area is because there's a G-slide I use at the very beginning of running blackout. So I'll show you what I mean. I'll demonstrate it first. This is a G-slide. I'm not sliding off the edge. I'm doing a G slide. This. Hang on. That. G slides do not require you to slide off the edge. In fact, you can't even do a G slide if you slide off the edge. And it gives you a massive burst of speed. And yeah. So be warned, this is an advanced maneuver. It is hard to do. Uh, I can do it practically every single time. Uh, except this part. This requires you to get an especially high G-slide, which is very hard to do all of, all of the time. You have to time it perfectly, as well as including that little tap at the end. So you, you gotta make sure to leave a little bit of thrust, and then tap it a little bit. Uh, but anyways, you can figure that out part, that part out after I show you with the G-slide how to actually do it. Now, this is going to take a while to explain because I want to make sure I explain it thoroughly. So be ready. So the first thing I need to tell you is how it kind of works in the first place. So this is just a normal jump slide. Nothing to it, just jump slide. I jump and hold slide midair and it will slide. Just normal, just normal jump slide. Nothing to it, right? Except this one is gonna be a jump thrust, okay? Nothing else, just jumping and then thrusting, okay? Now, if you do this thrust close enough to the ground, like that, that was a pretty good example, then if you're doing the jump slide at the same time, then it will lock you into the sliding mechanism, like the sliding mechanic, it will lock you into that except you can still thrust out of it. Okay? So, a lot of people have been saying, oh, you gotta double tap A, and no, you don't. All you need to do is time it perfectly. That is if you do it too late, by the way. If you do it too late, then it looks like this. Okay? That's because you slide and then jump out of it. That's why it looks like that. That's why, it, oops, I meant to fail. Uh, but yeah, so... You gotta start your thrust just before it hooks you into the sliding, okay? Like that. So you have a bit of time. It's, uh, the range where you can do it is slightly before you land, where you can press A, that is. The range at which you can press A and do it successfully is before you land, uh, obviously before you start drifting off into the air, which if you fail by doing it too early, it looks like this which is not at all what you want. Oops, I meant to fail again. See, it's very easy to do it uh, if you try to fail, but sometimes, like that, I tried to actually do it. But anyways, you guys get the point. So, learn it, get the hang of it, use it in some of your runs to speed your time up. If you were gonna do an edge slide, for example, if you were gonna edge slide, like, well, and land on that, and replace it with a G slide, then you save, uh, then you save, like, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 seconds, uh, which they're both very fast things to do, but obviously the G slide's better. Uh, there aren't many places where you can replace them like that though because it is an awkward thing to do but keep your eye open keep your eye open for stuff like that and obviously it is much faster than just traveling by foot right so yeah keep your eye open for spots in which you can use it and uh one last thing before i go i was about to end it but there is one more thing that i should tell you guys about not only can you do it by jumping into the air like that, uh, but you can also 
do it into a slide like that, which is a better slide, you saw. It's a better slide than normal. That was kind of a fail. It's a better, faster slide than normal. Oops. And that's by tapping the A button just barely when you do it. You do the thrust just before you land, like normal, except you just tap it so ever slightly. Like that, I didn't quite tap it long enough, so I jumped a little bit. And that is also very useful sometimes. Uh, I'm trying actually to fit it in for the shotgun grab, uh, although it just doesn't seem to work well all the time, right? It, it's just, I don't know, it's weird. It's weird. Uh, but yeah. Lots of uses for all of these, especially on Sidewinder. Sidewinder is G-Slide Central. Before I learned the G-Slide and used it, the record was like 220, er that kind of area, but now it's gotten to 210. Like, not completely just with the G-Slides, but a lot of it was G-Sliding to make it go down, which is crazy. Uh, but yeah, that's the tutorial. I hope you guys learned something. hope you guys got something out of it. Hope you guys aren't mad at me for releasing this late. Uh, kind of. It's just a lot of people were kind of depending on me to keep it a secret. Uh, at least for a little while longer. But I feel like it's definitely time to reveal it. Uh, so yeah. There you are. There we go. I'll show you this one last time in action on this map and then we're good. Uh, almost. Fading the black. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.